<coughs> I've got this little tiny pump that uh, runs on solar. I've got the panel hooked up already, charging a little battery that comes with it. It's a really tiny pump. <coughs> I'm going to adapt it to a little feet. I've got a um, sunflower stepping stone. It was the last one at uh, Lowell's of my plants. <coughs> Drill a hole through the center. I'm going to have to adopt this because it's not long enough. And uh, we'll, we'll figure something out. And make like a little little bubbler where the water just kind of flows over this. So let's get started. And I've drilled my hole, put my little tip in there, see it from the side, and then uh, applied some silicone around it. My uh, stem on here is not long enough, so I'm going to seal this with caulking. Now, one of the things I've learned about small pumps, filters, pumps in general, the intake on this thing, there's the camera is that's the basket that a little tiny filter goes in and then maybe that that uh there's an eighth inch hole that goes yeah might be a little bit bigger three two eighths one quarter that's a tiny hole that goes into the impeller so i'm going to put the the little filter they gave i got some of this uh air filter stuff Cut the size, and I'm going to make a bigger uh, filter. I want to increase the surface. That's what I want to say. I want to increase the surface area going into the pump. To get my application to work, I'm going to have to silicone this down to the plate. And the water will come in here. I'll just wrap that blue filter around here and increase my surface area. The sun uh, sunflower, little tiny pump on it, little tiny bird bath. The solar panels over here. Should be able to keep that clear. All right, first test. Wish me well. And ha -ha, it's flowing. The solar panel. All right, let's see what we got. That's a that's a lot of volume right there. Cool. I like it. Like it like that. So we got the, the little tiny in a potting. What do you call it? it goes underneath the potter plants. And I uh, got some lava in there. I got the, the sunflower with extra matting around the pump to give it more surface area. So hopefully it lasts longer before it needs cleaning. And the lava rock has tons of pores in it. So it helps offer when the birds dump in there and natural stuff that grows in there. It'll help keep that water fresh. Part of like a natural nature cycle. All right, my finished porch. Well, up to this phase. I added, uh, I don't know if that's going to work out, that little fence around here. Thought it might be cute. I had a little area, but I'm not sure yet. Of course, my table, put the green uh, rug down there. Still have my barbecue stuff down here. Now, this is where I spent most of my time. Adjusting the garden. I've got three water features now. The original blue one. And that's a solar powered one right here. It's getting a lot of sunshine right now. And then that's an electric one with a huge reservoir underneath it. And of course the butterfly bushes. And Mr. Turtle. And the Hong Kong orchid. You can see all the new growth. You can see all the new growth coming off of it right now. So it's going to flourish. And I moved these uh, little lumiids from my friend Kathy over to this fence. They'll get more shade pretty soon. But I think they'll do better here than when I had them at. And the view from this side right over here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. That's done.